in the country we're going to know about oil drilling is. Um, and I think I'm mostly reluctant. It's probably fair to say is this is the most scrutinized, analyzed um, project, prop, oil and gas project probably anywhere in the world. I'm actually sure of that. Well, they're going well. So operationally, things are going, actually, I'd say very well. The, uh, you know, you know, it's a big operation, a lot yeah. of vessels, 28 vessels involved, including the drilling rigs, um, a lot of logistics, a lot of people, um, but it's really gone very well. I've been putting that in about 100 news well, stories. <laughs> yeah, so good we'll one check. to check, yeah. We'll check. And one of the most frequent questions I get is, well, why explore the Arctic now? Oil prices are low, and you know, why are you guys out there now? And a lot of it is, is based on the, the question that you just asked, because it takes years to build up the capability to be able to do this the right way. That's training thousands of people to be ready to do these jobs. That's building up this fleet of equipment and vessels that are necessary to, to execute a program like this. That's not the kind of thing you turn on very quickly. It takes a while to build that up. It takes years to build that up, actually. And it's certainly not something you turn off very quickly and then come back to when it's convenient. Transition's real, a transition's required. Oil will be required for a long time. Let's take a really close look at developing our own resources, control how it's done, and get all the benefits that go along with that. Not just the workers that need to move here, right. actually anybody that gets their oil has to live that shore needs to move here. Right. The message coming from these communities and community leaders and others about the coexistence of a development like this and a subsistence lifestyle. Um, and the importance of having these jobs and having this potential income with actually being able to maintain this lifestyle yeah. well into the future. I mean, I, it's, a, it's, a, just, it's a connection that's being pretty clearly drawn to this business, and, and the regulator needs to stay open-minded to that. And I think they are, but they need to be. Well, I think the, I mean, I think the right assumptions for me to make are it's not going to go away. I mean, there's some, there are some people and some organizations that are absolutely opposed to this and nothing's going to change their mind about that. So I admit my expectation is that will persist. The, uh, we saw quite a bit of, of very public um, opposition when we were in the Pacific Northwest, you know, as the rigs were staged to come to Alaska and so forth. So I just have to make the assumption that that will continue. Anybody involved in that process that wants to approach it from a, you know, let's figure out how to do this better, let's do things in a legal fashion otherwise, then you know, we're 110 percent ready to work with and want to work with and look to improve anything about this program where we can.